Welcome to Web Portal Net's electronics project. Today we're going to be doing the hello world of physical computing, which is the blinking LED with an Arduino. You're going to need an Arduino board, uh, an LED, a USB cable, like the ones used in a printer, with the square end, and a computer. First you'll need the Arduino software environment and you can get that from arduino.cc Once you download that, just unzip it into a particular folder and you don't need to install it, it runs right from that folder. Just open up the Arduino executable. When you plug in the Arduino into your computer via the USB cable, uh, your computer should find a USB serial port and you can verify that which port it uses by opening up your device manager and uh, looking in the ports. Um, category and mine comes up as USB serial port 4, COM4. And in the software, go to the tools menu and make sure that you have COM4 selected in uh, serial port. I also have the Arduino uh, with the chip ATmega328 so I have that selected make sure you have the right board or else it won't upload to the uh, to your Arduino you board. It. Next you'll need an LED so don't go to the source by Circuit City or uh, Radio Shack and pay over a dollar for an LED the place where I live here the source is charging two dollars a piece where you have to buy two of them for four dollars uh, and that's the cheapest one but if you just go to the dollar store if you don't have a nice electronics store around and just pick up one of these um, little keychain flashlights and you can take the LED out of there it's not even soldered on it's just put on it's kind of clipped in place there so you just take it right out um, the LED is it's got polarity LEDs have polarity so that means it has to go in um, only one way so it won't go in the opposite way or it won't work uh, usually the positive leg is longer and the negative is shorter and you want the positive leg in the um, in pin number 13 where you have your power and the short leg is the negative pin you want that in your ground and if you clip them like I did so that they fit in there nicely so that the legs are the same length the uh, negative side has a flat spot on this side which you probably can't see in here but that flat, flat spot will tell you which one should go into the ground the negative side. Next let's upload the code um, you can get it from the URL that's on your screen I'll just paste it in here to the, my new sketch and let's verify this verify and compile it's compiling Good. it has no error messages that's good and we'll upload to IO board so now it's going to upload and I'm going to move the Arduino in view here and that's just some setup blinks okay there we go now that's the uploaded program blinking there it's not so bright that You can way. also play around with the code like I did to make the SOS Morse code. You might remember from the SOS commercials. I just have a five second delay between it. The code is very simple. It's uh, using pretty much the same code as the Hello World. And 50 milliseconds on for S and a 200 millisecond delay between them and then 250 milliseconds for O. So hopefully you can have some fun with that. Thanks for watching the Web Portal Net Electronics project. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it works out for you.